Today's video is going to be about Havoc OS. So I have been using this custom ROM in my Redmi Note 10 Pro for almost a month now. I think it has been more than a month. And this ROM is running on Android 11. But before we start this video, I just wanted to let you guys know that there were two back-to-back -back community guidelines strikes on my channel and I was not able to post anything for like two weeks, for more than two weeks. And I also had to delete some of my previous videos because I got really worried about this. Now coming back to main point here, I just wanted to show you guys how this ROM is performing with Redmi Note 10 Pro. But I won't be going into detail about all the features, I will just try to cover the most important features and we will be discussing all these features one by one. So let's get started. We are going to start with safety net and widevine L1. So Havoc OS passes the safety net test very easily. So you will be able to use the banking applications without any issues. Now when it comes to widevine L1, this ROM also supports widevine L1. So playing SD content should not be an issue as well. Havoc OS also provides you those stock Android wallpapers. So if you love changing the wallpapers every now and then, this is going to be useful here. Now apart from these wallpapers, you also get to choose different custom fonts or different clock styles which looks really good here. Since we are into these theming features, Havoc OS also comes with Shady Launcher which has some really good customization features like changing icon packs, hiding applications, changing the grid size or double tap to sleep. So you don't actually need any third party launcher here, this Shady Launcher should be more than enough. Havoc OS also comes with a configuration center where you can customize the status bar, lock screen, system navigation and you also have a dedicated gaming mode where you can enable specific gaming drivers or change settings related to notifications. Now talking about gaming, Havoc OS will give you a decent gaming performance. I played one or two high end games like Call of Duty, Battle Prime and the performance was really good. But do not expect a higher FPS with any of these high end games here. With Call of Duty, you get max frame rate with high graphics and very high frame rate with very high graphics. And the gameplay is mostly smooth. You also get this status bar tile for FPS info in case you want to check it out. Let me actually show you a short gaming session with Call of Duty and I will also enable this FPS info here. I actually did not face any lag in Call of Duty and it was running smoothly. Even though phone heats up a little bit but the gaming was pretty decent here. One of the best features that you get with Havoc OS is the ANX camera. A fully functional ANX camera where everything is working fine. If you are using any Android 12 custom ROM that comes with ANX camera, you might have faced an issue with slow motion but that issue is not present here. Every camera mode is working absolutely fine and I have tested it multiple times and it is working without any issues. So Havoc OS gives you almost everything that you need in a custom ROM and the developers have made it sure that you get the best of everything. When it comes to battery backup, you have to compromise a bit here because the battery backup is not that great. It is good but not that great. And if you are a heavy user like you play games and all use Wi-Fi most of the time then you might be disappointed with the battery. I tested battery backup with Wi-Fi as well as with mobile data, played some games and I was watching some videos on YouTube and Instagram and I was getting a screen on time of 3-4 to four hours. And if you are a normal user and you don't play games and all and stay on mobile data all the time, then you should get a decent battery backup here. And I also tested this idle battery drain with mobile data and there was almost a 10% battery drop in 4 hours so you can keep a note of that as well. And when it comes to fast charging, Havoc OS supports fast charging and it will take around 1 hour and 40 minutes to completely charge the battery from 0 to 100% using the original charger. I also wanted to show you some other important features and we are going to start with fingerprint sensor and the face unlock and both of them are working fine and you should not face any issue with all that. And if you go to display settings, you also get an option to prevent accidental wake up which is a really important feature. One more important feature I wanted to show you is the device specific settings. So if you go to device settings then system settings, you will get these device specific settings that include a refresh rate which you can change from 60 to 120Hz, DC dimming which will prevent screen flickering and the direct sound enhancer which is going to improve the sound quality. Well they have not provided this Dolby Atmos here but this is going to work just fine. So that was pretty much everything about Havoc OS and how this ROM is performing with Redmi Note 10 Pro and I hope I did not miss any important features here. 
Now, this custom ROM is for those who do not care about Android versions, who do not care about latest Android versions because Android 13 is already here and this ROM is running on Android 11. But this ROM is completely stable and it offers some really good customization features and it can be used as a daily driver for sure. I'll keep you posted if any new version of this ROM comes out. Till then, stay safe and take care.